Hello and welcome! This video is about upgrading your weapons and armor up to the level of severing gear. So that is about plus seven or plus eight gear. And before we get into all the meat and details of this video, I do want to give a shout out to a very good friend of mine and give her a nod and say thank you for all the information she helped me out with to allow this video to come together. And her name is Awia. So thank you very much for all that you do and continue to help me out all the messages and information that you pass along because you know gamers like you really have all the details and I am trying to catch up but I'm so appreciative of the friendship and just being part of the community. So thank you for reaching out to me and allowing us to be friends and sharing the knowledge that you know. So Aria, thank you once again, and let's get on with the video. Here we go. So the focus of this video will be for only weapons and armor. And I wanna show the history of upgrading gear from low grade to high grade, show you what a new account will get you and how high is the grade of gear you can achieve in the short term. I also wanna show you what tools you need to get so you can upgrade the gear when you are ready and show you how to improve your gear to be ready to advance it to the next grade level. I'll show you how and where to get the materials you need to get better gear, because everyone wants better gear, right? Right. Show you that when you get uh, to the grade level of chaos gear, you now have choices to make on what you will do and what those choices are. It's kind of controversial, but uh, I'll do my best to be a balanced video so you know the options. I'll show you uh, the value of creating backup gear to prevent rage quitting because you lost weeks, months, or even years of progress. I have countless amount of people and friends I knew who uh, enjoyed this game. They rage quit because they just lost so much time and I want to prevent that. It's called backup gear. I'm sure you know what it is, but we're gonna cover it. And I will use all my resources to upgrade my gear using all the information shown. So I'm going to be the guinea pig and get uh, take my shot at taking my plus seven gear to plus eight and some of that gear that might still be plus six, maybe a plus seven, that might be the accessories I'm talking about. But the goal of this video is to take a new player and allow them to understand how to upgrade their gear and what they need to do. Once they know the basics behind this and some strategies they can do, it will allow them to be stress-free and enjoy the game. So no more rage quitting, people. <laughs> that's, that's what we're trying to prevent. So without further ado, let's get started. Here we go. So what you're looking at is where we're currently at as of the date of this video. We're at uh, what I'm calling pink and purple gear. It's uh, one step after chaos if you want the naming convention. But let me, before I go into the details, let me read this note. This is gear you get when creating a normal character and going through the main storyline. If you create a seasoned character, you will only upgrade gear called Tuvala and you must focus on your season quests to complete your season character or miss out on the rewards of finishing to then be a powerful normal character. So Pearl Abyss wants you to enjoy a season character and get to the end of it and you will come out with purple and indigo gear. You see how you went from gray all the way to that and you're in good position to now start getting materials and focusing on where we're all at so it's you do need a lot and it will take time but at least there's the opportunity to catch up and that's what season character mode is for now let's go ahead and show you when you start a normal character a regular character 
what all of this is and how you get it. So we're going to go into that now. And when you start the game, your gear is gray. And by going through the main storyline and completing quests, the quest rewards that you will get will increase from gray to white gear. And then it will increase to green gear. And it will even increase to blue gear. So the by completing the quest, you will receive gear that reaches up to blue. So let's move on and show you the next section. And that is purple and gold gear. This gear is obtained by constructing a blacksmith building in your camp when you have the resources. So if you're in your camp and you access the uh, bottom of the interface where it says build and then you scroll over to where it says blacksmith and you see what you need, but you need camp workers to go get that material ahead of time. So you can go to the pub. I have a video about the pub and how camp workers, uh, how it all works. So if you want to look at that, but you will need camp workers and for them to gather the resources to upgrade your blacksmith building to level two. And yes, I have a video about the blacksmith and it shows how to upgrade if you want that reference as well. At that point, you can have the camp workers gather more material to craft the purple and gold level gear you need. It takes time, so planning is important. You really want to say, this is what I'm focusing on, this is what I want, and you will get it. So now that you have the general idea of how purple and gold gear works, I want to show you a video of all of that. So if you're a visual person, you can see where you're going. Let's cue that up. Here we go. So this is a brand new account and I decided to make Nova my character. And uh, what you can do is for uh, blacksmith you need to uh, or sorry let's go back for the camp you start out here in Balanos and in Velia on uh, this city and you do the main storyline and you go through and you go from Balanos to Serendia and then all the way over into the red areas here and then it goes over to North Medea and South Medea and then into the purple region of the Valencia so northwest and all the way down here into Camasilvia, uh, north, yeah, from there, and then Dregan, and Everfrost is accessible to you, but you would get the quest for building your camp when you're in Serendia. So you go here to Story and Essential, and you just scroll. And like I said, this is a new account, new character, and just keep scrolling until you see Story, or excuse me, Camp. <laughs> I've already completed it, but you would tap on it and here's all the quests that you need to do. So when you're in Serendia, this is given to you and it, like I said, it unlocks the camp. So this is where you want to go and what you want to do. And when you have completed that quest and now you have your camp, this is what my camp looked like at the time. You go down to build, like I said, scroll all the way over until you see the blacksmith. So we're going to keep going, not there, not there, keep going. Did I pat? Nope, didn't pass it. Keep going. There it is. Blacksmith. It shows you the resources and that I completed it already. I have it up to level two and there it is right there. So this is what you are looking for. So once you upgrade your blacksmith to level two, you would tap on basic craft on the right hand side and scroll down and you will start to see uh, purple and gold gear you can craft. So let's go ahead and go now to back to our upgrade uh, history for armor and keep going. So now that you know how purple and gold gear works and what you need, let's move on to how do I get orange and red gear. And that is through event rewards method one that are offered all the time and especially for new players. Method two would be to craft them through the crafting interface. And method three would be purchasing it through the marketplace. However, it can be very expensive to obtain, but, but it is there. So if you want to do it, it is there. But let me uh, queue up a video and show you what I'm talking about. 
and we're back to our new account again and as you can see I'm level 56 I'm at 4941 CP and I did go through the main storyline uh, not as far as I can go but as you can see the game has given me orange armor and red armor right here and I even have items in my inventory to open that are upgrades as well so this one right here yeah it is pink here it's pink shoes so yeah let's open that up I wanted to wait for you and show you that these things do happen when you are a new player they want you to catch up and they're giving you the means so absolute musket shoes and you know here we go we're going from orange to the next level which is red so we're just gonna open these chests up too and there's my sub weapon and let's see here's a helmet very nice and here is uh, the main weapon right there very very nice okay and I tapped auto equip in the bottom right corner and you can see my CP just jumped now to 5,000 what was it 590 something uh, 5,512 oops and uh, even here this is accessories look at that a full uh, red accessory set thank you thank you very much that's of course auto equipped and let's show you where this item right here is where you find events event and reward info and growth support event is something that new players see so veteran players like me will not see this at all because well we're past that point and as you can see just scrolling through what I've completed they give you lots of red items orange and red items look at that there's where I got my main and my sub weapon and you saw where I got all the red chests so they really want you to make that leap from uh, starting out into orange gear and red gear but if you wanted to know how do I get the other colored gear now you already know by this point so right now at the time of this video there's these uh, events that are going on but it's showing you look at look at all these things you can get and all you have to do like do boss rushes I mean yeah that's a hundred and two hundred but you can shoot for these things if you do this event there's a uh, scroll bundle that's orange red and and pink you even have the monthly login that uh, covers you for materials you need to get stronger look at that there's totem chest and fortune scroll which helps you get gear a lot quicker which is that fortune scroll and this is when scholar came out and she even offers stuff and this is the big beefy one the get stronger knowledge milestone event so three columns filled with gear and all you have to do is play the game glance at what they're talking about like achieve level 15 or 20 and you get reward after reward this is just insane all these things are geared so you can level up so let's go ahead and go back so as you can see that is how you get orange and red gear through the event rewards and then I didn't show you the crafting interface or the marketplace but if you during gameplay bring up the interface crafting is on the top right corner and the marketplace is on the right hand side as well so just peruse them check them out and you will see where I'm talking about but let's go ahead and move on to the next section so for pink gear uh, the same methods you can go to the event rewards you already saw that I have pink shoes and uh, that the game gave it to me very early so there's your proof that pink gear can be obtained method two is crafting them through the craft interface and method three is purchasing it through the marketplace once again however it can be very expensive to obtain but it's there and this time with the pink gear I am gonna show you the how to get to the craft interface and what I'm talking about with pricing for the marketplace let's queue up that video here we go so during gameplay you just uh, tap on the top right corner 
to get the menu interface going and then we're gonna go to craft it's that one at the top and you can see all the tabs gear material umbral chaos gear and season and we're dealing with gear so under gear is everything here uh, weapon base these are like kits so if you wanted a red weapon you would uh, put into that to get a red weapon kit but this is where everyone is at it's uh, crafting the main weapon it, as you can see we're up to what's called Dawn Veil that's the what did I say pink and purple colored one so here uh, if you wanted an orange you can craft it a red or even chaos and since we're talking about chaos that is where it's at so go ahead and explore the rest of this but now you know where that's at so let's go ahead and look at uh, go to the interface and look at market which is right here it'll be different because of where you're at in level and what you've unlocked but when you're at the market you can select main weapon sub weapon armor gloves shoes and now you can see how much they want uh, billions of silver <laughs> If you're just starting out as a new player, you are not going to have this amount of silver just yet. Maybe millions, but not billions. It just depends. And please don't spend real money to get it. So let's go ahead and go back. Now that you know about craft and market, here we go. And we're back. So now you have seen for pink gear that you can get it through event rewards and now you've seen the uh, craft interface and where it's located and the marketplace and where you can uh, go get it like I said however it can be very expensive so let's go ahead and move on to the next part which is the chaos gear so for this gear, there are three methods of obtaining it, which is creating a season character and completing all season quests that will give you a full set of this gear at the end. This is very enticing and you're going to go from 0 to uh, 30 to 35k CP in no time flat. However, the only drawback is that you're being rushed through th 3 plus years of content and your head's gonna be spinning like what am I doing but you have guild mates that will help you when you join a guild uh, my channel is filled with all sorts of knowledge on uh, how things work and the website for uh, Black Desert Mobile is very helpful as well so you have lots of resources at your disposal to understand what did I just see <laughs> but hey great you're powerful now so the second method is crafting the gear from the craft interface and you just got through seeing that with the pink gear so feel comfortable explore that and know method three it may be possible as time goes by for black desert mobile to that this gear will become easier to get as more powerful gear becomes available i would advise that you just enjoy the game and do not wait for this to happen so this is how you can obtain it and let's go ahead and talk about the last set of gear so for the Donvale gear or what I'm calling the pink and purple gear it is obtained through the craft interface you already saw it when we were going through the pink gear uh, where it is on the uh, craft section so this is currently where you get it as of the date of this video this is the highest level of gear and therefore the most challenging to obtain it is possible by farming as best you can saving your materials and participating in the uh, sections of the game that give you the materials you need to craft this gear so this is what everyone is doing is everything they possibly can to get what they need to try this and get a crack at it so do not expect it to be very easy to obtain uh, and know that the chaos gear that you have is really good is a great start it's where most of the gamers are at and they're trying for Donvale gear now so with that let's move on to new subjects 
So going back to our focus of the video, I've showed you uh, number one, the history of upgrading gear from low to high. Uh, showed you uh, what a new account you will get and how high of the grade gear it is you can achieve, which is orange to red. Uh, you start out at gray and you can easily get up to orange gear and red gear, but chaos gear would take you some time. Uh, I showed you what tools you need. Uh, to get so you can upgrade the gear when you're ready that is the blacksmith so you need level 2 blacksmith and you need to see all the things that the blacksmith can do because you will unlock quests and be able to upgrade and enhance I have a video that specifically talks about the blacksmith if you want to watch that but understanding and getting familiar with the blacksmith building is what you need to do and uh, let's see show you how and where to get the materials you need to get better gear this is where we're at right now and let's go ahead and dive into that here we go so let's go back to the start and show you that you go back to your interface and you go back to craft and you know that you have orange and red gear and you want to see what does it take to upgrade to say maybe more red gear so if I had an orange hammer and I want a red hammer, it'll take this thing called an Aoyeli Fragment. How can I get that? You tap on it and you see where it says acquisition. You tap on that and it, the where to obtain, which automatically came up on the left hand side. So you just tap on it if it's not shown. And these are the places in the game on where you can get it. Aoyeli's Rift, Tower of Trials, the Chaos Tower, Gervais, the NPC, and Orwin's Shop. So if you tap on it, the game says, okay, you want to go to that person or do that thing. So it's ready to help you and ready to go. So if you wanted it now, you can tap on it and go right to it and learn and obtain it. So once again, uh, this is where all of the places are. Gervais, uh, like I said, is an NPC, so if you want to get to her. But she is actually, uh, she appears on the weekends. So you may be going to somebody who's not there. So you would be aware of that. But for pink gear, it takes out Yaley's fragments and it looks like it needs the red hammer so you kind of need that to get a pink so you start at red you use the red that you got to get a pink and for chaos you need to upgrade that uh, pink to uh, to pen which is uh, number roman numeral five and then get the other materials like this the chaos jewel which is in hadoom uh, south valencia or after uh, then you can get it as a drop and dimensional fragments. So you tap on that, acquisition, Gervais, uh, dark energy, abyssal, or higher grade gear, which is fed to the black spirit, trials of a tour, co-op rushes, often tet, and uh, garmoth. So these are other ways that you can obtain these materials. And if you're trying for the best, which is the Donvale hammer, it's this Donville hammer. There's two copies. This one is the uh, it's it transfers all your uh, chaos and crystals and chants and everything else. This is like step two, so it's kind of expecting all that stuff. It's the one above that you want to go to to create the Donville hammer before you use the second one which transfers everything over. It's very weird. I almost feel like a separate video needs to be made on how this works uh, when I get there. And of course, I can't see any more details because I'm on a seasoned character. So you can't do it with a seasoned character. Let's just fix that. Go over to my normal character, my Archmage, and log into her. And then we can go back and just kind of see what's going on with the Donvale hammer, which is the best one we can shoot for right now. So back to craft and then main weapon 
and mine are staves so I you know I have a chaos staff and uh, let's see I have a plus seven chaos staff so my gear is at plus seven my accessories are plus six and I'm one plus seven but the video is about weapons and armor not accessories so we'll go back here to main weapon and chaos staff so I I do qualify for this as far as making a Donville staff uh, that it needs it's this the flame of uh, Hongik it's this is a land of the morning light place you need to go to obtain the material this material I haven't gone there yet I should but I need to make videos about it and then I'm free to go and start farming for those materials but until then for you who's probably been there uh, this is a, a material where you get it and Akrod is a big laundry list of places where you can get that so if you're shooting for Donvale gear you need to uh, be doing land of the morning light and this is now a sneak peek that I have uh, backup gear for my uh, staff my main weapon and of course I <laughs> can't do the Donvale because well you know why so this is how you acquire materials for getting the stuff that you need to craft this is where you want to look is uh, all the details on acquisition and where to go so with that being said let's go ahead and go out now I do want to show you uh, take a small break and show you the difference between a normal character and a seasoned character just for fun here we go so when you first start your account you have these pluses which is create character and when you tap on it it's gonna default to uh, create a season character to encourage you to catch up and these are all the benefits of creating a season character the speed gearing the power up guarantee and the limited uh, completion gift so when you do that you have the regular roster of all the characters to choose from if you go back out and click a normal plus uh, then you'll see below season character which is very bright in your face is standard character so you tap on that and you have the same roster of people it's just the difference is you're gonna be a lot slower getting CP in standard character versus season character and when it comes to season character once again you have to do the season quests the game will encourage you to do normal story normal character story quests and do something with normal uh, materials and gear you get but you have to work with the season stuff until you're able to change it into a normal character and I should note only one season character per family per account so choose that season character very wisely once you make it you can't go back so if we come back here to our focus of the video uh, we already showed you number five where to get the materials you need to get and upgrade better gear and now we're at the point where it's number six but first I'd like to go into number seven, which is show you the value of creating backup gear and to prevent rage quitting. Uh, there's a lot of reasons why, and I want you to see the journey that I'm taking to complete my backup gear set. So then I can go on to show you number six, which is the different paths of chaos gear, and then try to go for severing and everything going forward. So let's do that. And without further delay, let's start. Here we go. So as you can see, uh, we'll go into our inventory and show you that all of the gear I currently have is at plus seven, and that's a nice start, but I don't want to damage that progress. I've already made a main weapon and a sub weapon to be plus seven, and I've made a helm. So we need the uh, armor piece the gloves and the shoes or I said that backwards <laughs> that's okay but we need those three pieces 
So let's show you how I got them. So when we come to craft, we go to armor. That's what we're gonna work on next. And of course, to get chaos, it's a step process. You need to build up to it to get uh, a level five primal uh, pink gear. So if we go all the way down, you will see that uh, we need to start. Well, yeah, see for pink, you need a red piece of gear uh, and you need Al Yaeli fragments. And then for the red gear, this is where we start. You just need 323, so we'll craft one. Yes, I have a lot of these fragments because I've been saving for a long time to get up to this point to make this video. So now that we have it, if you're wondering where you can get Al Yaeli fragments, in Al Yaeli's Rift, Tower of Trials Chaos, Gervais the NPC, or Orwin's Shop. And even if you uh, tapped on them, it would actually go to those uh, people. But for pink gear, now we can do this because we have the red nose armor, the red gear. We need 5,700, I think it's 760 of it. So we'll just tap on this, register it, and craft. So now we have the pink gear. There's this process, it will take a bit of time. And since we're doing three pieces of armor, you'll get the hang of what I'm doing by the third piece for sure. So now for chaos, it says, hey, you need that gear to be pink, awakened, and up to primal. And if you're wondering, well, what does that mean? I'll show you. Hang in there. But we need chaos jewels and dimensional fragments as well. So let me see if I can get those things. There's the chaos jewels I saved. So we'll bring that over. And the dimensional fragments are right there, so we'll take those two things out, and we're set and ready. So let's go ahead and go back to craft, go to armor, and as you can see, and yes, uh, I have been saving those for a while, but we need to tend to that piece of armor, so we'll go to our camp. And once we're there, we're going to be working with our blacksmith. So let's just zoom over there. Sometimes I, I do uh, quick things. <laughs> Once I get into the camp, you're like, is that a step? No, no, it's not. You come over here to the blacksmith. You go to gear awakening exchange. So you tap on that. And then you come over here to gear awakening. So you tap on that too. And I hope you did all the quests to unlock uh, what you can do with the blacksmith on all your pieces of gear and accessories because then all you have to do is tap on this and it is 40 million silver to awaken it but we need to do it we have the silver so let's go ahead and skip the cutscene and just confirm <laughs> if you're like hey I wanted to see that cutscene well you can when it's your time <laughs> you can see a lot of it so now that we have awakened it, now we need to uh, get it to a state where it's at level 5 Roman numeral, but we need to first do it in steps. So I want to be in awakened enhancement, but as you can see, once we uh, tap on this tab and tap on the weapon, or the armor piece, sorry, it's grayed out because it cannot be enhanced yet so oh we skipped a step it needs to be here in enhance force enhance there it is it's lit up we can select it and this is all of those uh, uh, all the material that you see down below is what you collect all the way up to this point and I if you click on the magnifying glass you can see that this piece of gear needs to get to plus 40 and then after plus 40, it goes into the Roman numerals of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, all the way up to 10. So we're just going to leave it. Again, I've saved a lot of materials for this video. So target is plus 40. We're doing it at 
if I come and try to tap on silver for save settings, it's like you, there's nothing to save. When it's 100%, it's good. But if we, uh, the additional save settings, it is old technology and you probably won't be messing with it. Just restoration scrolls and silver. But if we did 99%, then yes. Then you can use your silver to save your progress and give you a shot at recovering. But not needed. Just do 100%, use your materials, and watch it fly. So that's what we're doing right now. It won't take very long. It's almost done. And you can see uh, how much silver it's uh, taking away. And yes, uh, if you're wondering how do you have so much silver, uh, Cursed Pirate Island. If you do your dailies and weekly uh, tasks, you'll get those tickets. And then you just tap on the ticket to go to the island. Do the island. I have a video about this. And when you are done with all your tickets that you've saved, you'll get tons of silver. So now we have our plus 40 and we're now in Awaken Enhancement. I wanted you to see that if we click on the magnifying glass again and tap to the right. So the success rate is 60% to get Roman numeral one. And it needs a pristine black crystal uh, and restoration scrolls. I think I need to show you where to get pristine black crystals. But before we do that, uh, Roman numeral two is, there you go. Three is 20, four is 10, and five is 7%. That's 7% uh, to get to six. So four, Roman numeral four, two, five is all we need to care about. But if you use these things right here, they increase your percentage. See now it's 77%. And this blue one, <laughs> is uh if we use this one it's at 100 percent and i will show you what these things are and where they're located in your inventory so we're just gonna 100 percent this so there we go roman numeral one all right so now we're at 60 percent to go from one to roman numeral two and it's 90%, so yeah, we're going to choose the 90%, obviously. <laughs> and there we go. So now it's at 2, and the game wants us to have it at 5, so we can upgrade it. But uh, let's go ahead and show you. Let's see, where was it? There, well, there was one, but uh, I think it was... Yeah, I think it was in the the pearl tab. Let me go over there. Yep, let me scroll up. There it is, right up there at the top. So these are the two items that we're using in the pearl tab. Uh, Advice of Valks, 50%. The blue one that got us up to 100 and then 90%. You can get it from World Boss Fights and Al Yaley's Rift. So just uh, tap on acquisition if you don't see it. And then the green one, you it's a vice of Valks 10% and you get it at the same locations. So it's kind of like use the materials you have. If you don't have the blue and you have the green, to use the green. It's 7% better than what you had, which is, you know, a lower percentage. So we're going from two to three. Tap on the blue. It's at 60%. That's what we got. Let's try it. And by the way, I realized this was like, you know how people say streamer luck? Yeah, I guess I got uh, streamer luck on this one. <laughs> but it doesn't last since I know the outcome. And so we're going from three to four. And once again, your results may vary, but that is the best you can possibly do is... The advice of Alex, 50% the blue one, and just have a lot of it. Just save up. So congrats, we're now from four to five, and now we have it at five, and we're done. 
So now we can go back to the craft. So let's go ahead and do that. So craft uh, screen, and then we come over to armor. And now we're ready to make chaos armor. We have our Roman numeral five, we have our dimensional fragments and chaos jewels. For dimensional fragments, you can get this from Gervais. Dark energy, uh, like giving it to the black spirit. Uh, the Chaos Jewels, you can get them from Hadoom, South Valencia, or anything after that in the main storyline, and so on. So let's go ahead and select it, register, and craft. Yes. I really like the effects. It is pretty cool. <laughs> it is really nice. All right, so now we have a plus five chaos armor and now we're going to move into the tab called umbral chaos gear so we want this one right here severing chaos staff but we need a plus seven awakened chaos main weapon so we need to get our plus five to plus seven before we can do this step and if you wanted Akrods, they're Hadoom, East Valencia After, Black Sun, Twisted Nightmare, Co-op, uh, that's Often Tet, World Boss, Chaos Rift 2 or above, Reclaim, uh, World Boss, uh, yeah, and the Co-op Rush. Uh, there's a lot of places you can get it. So now we need to turn our attention to something new and that is upgrading the plus five to get it to plus seven and this is gonna take a while but not in this video like I said I got lucky but you'll notice something's different now there's two new scrolls these two right here that you also obtain if we go to our pearl tab they are right there in the top uh, top right corner Akram's Acro prophecy 50% from Chaos Rift, so you want to do your Chaos Rifts as much as you can, and Akram Prophecy 100%. Uh, Chaos Rift or Twisted Nightmare, and if you don't know what Chaos Rift is, I have videos showing you all about Chaos Rift. So just know that the 100% one is going to take the percentage that you're at and double it because it's 100%, if it's 7%, now it's 14%. So it it's a double. It doesn't mean it's gonna turn it into 100%. So my rate, if I click on this old one, is 7.7. .7. And then the newer ones, 10.5. And then that 100% one is 14, see? That's how you read this. So that's the best one that we have, and that's all that we have. We need pristine black crystals, and I think I need to show you where to get those. If you go into your camp, and you build the building called uh, Refine uh, Refinery. There it is. At the bottom, see where it says build? You tap on that, and then you can build it once you have the materials, but you wanna select this, Craft Black Crystals, and you tap pristine black crystal and all of these that you collect doing during the main storyline and doing quests and all sorts of stuff can be used to make pristine black crystals but not yet not for us we already have some of those we have a stack of it so we need those to upgrade uh, our three pieces of gear our backup gear to be more precise so plus five and we'll select that which is 14 percent we will attempt it and i think i tried this a few times so look at that no more streamer luck <laughs> failed 14 <laughs> percent. i mean come on so yes restoration scrolls very important uh you want to save those too and i always tell people do things in bulk there's a reason why save up so you can do something like this. So I think I tried it a couple more times. You notice it's not 14, it's now 20% because we went down a level. 
So I think I tried it one more time. And there we go, back at five. So let's, I think, I, I think I'm like, oh, I can single click this, not a problem. Easy, wrong, smack down again. Praying that the restoration scroll will revive it back to plus five. Yep. So let's show you how the auto awakening works. So here's the target. We want it at target seven. I know that I don't want to use the first green scroll because that's too low of a percentage. Um, the other one, the blue one, is the one I should work with. So I'm at five, so maybe five and over. Use that blue scroll because it's the highest percentage I can get. And then the restoration scrolls will back me up if it drops down to three and uh, try to restore it. So I think I <laughs> made that mistake. Five and over. Uh, no, I'm actually going to put it back to three. I'm gonna give it a try at plus five. And I don't think I tried the green cause I was just too like, no, that's a waste. So let's give this a go. And this is something where I'm not gonna show you the best formula, but you're going to see throughout this video what I ended up doing so you can try the same thing you know I'm making the mistake so you don't have to waste materials so you're watching the numbers you're watching to see what it sticks on is it mostly on three to four three to four or does it drop down and now it's struggling to get back like it's doing right now my restoration scrolls started at plus three so if it was plus two one or zero there you know it's just luck of the dice so i let this go a few times hoping it would get up to seven and it looks like it's hovering at five and six it's really trying but when it dropped down past plus three yeah i think uh we need to uh reevaluate uh, what our settings are there's got to be a better way to do this because it doesn't look like it's gonna hit up into the five the six the seven that's where you want it to be so you gotta just say enough is enough I gotta stop this and change it and I think I came to that realization pretty soon <laughs> sure I got a lot of materials but you know you may not so so let's try this again let's go back select our plus one <laughs> so sad <laughs> put it at plus seven let's incorporate the green in there and let's see if we can have a better a better uh layout for success here so i think i chose the other one for zero to one there you go, two to three, and then the blue one for four, maybe I think I said five. I stuck with that five to seven, five to six and six to seven. So I think I went with this setup. And of course, save settings, I'm gonna leave it at three. So this is, I think this is the pattern that I went with. Let's do it. I was a little too hoity-toity the first time around. <laughs> So now we're looking at the numbers again. It's it's hovering on one to two. Hopefully it'll break out of it. Come on, come on, get up there. See, this is what I'm talking about. If you're seeing this, you're seeing it's, it's spending too much time wasting your resources in the lower numbers. Something's gotta be done and something's gotta change. Because you're just burning material and that took you a while to get. And look at that, I haven't even seen it get to plus five. How sad. <laughs> Alright, let's do this again. Look at that, it's, it's not even plus one. Oh brother. So what I was looking at is the percentages. So it's like, okay, so from zero to one, it was at 70. Oh, look, the green one was 100%. 
from zero to one. Maybe we should just knock out that other green one completely and work with the green and the blue. So yeah, that might be a better, a better deal. So let's try this again. We'll work with the green. We'll set it to plus one. And the blue. Let's see, so yeah, we want that at five. So we'll go with that being one to four. Leave that on three. And I made the mistake of forgetting to put the target at plus seven. <laughs> Watch this. Oh, did I? Oh, did I actually? No. No. Get it off that. There we go. Yeah. That's better. Except, I. Duh. Silly. Yay! <laughs> well, that's a small victory. Let's go back into it again. All right, there we go, plus seven. And we're gonna do that. And we're gonna do that. And we're moving this to plus one or greater, not to plus five or over. This is the setup that I went with. Now watch the numbers. They should get me higher. Hey, look at that. We're now at plus three and plus four, and now we're into the plus five. And now we're we're messing around with that. Oh, I see it. Oh, there it is. There it is. Plus seven. Congratulations. That was a good setup. So now that we have our plus seven armor, now we have an idea of what pattern we want to do for the remainder which is the gloves and the shoes so let's work on the gloves now and if you were like well, i don't know what he did last time we're doing it again gloves we're gonna start with red we're gonna purchase craft it 194 al yaley fragments confirm and there we go now we're going to pink and we select that, tap on that, register, craft it, crafted. And there it is. You just need the Aieli fragments and it's, it's a done deal. There's no stress. So now we need to get the pink up to uh, Roman numeral five. So we'll go to enhance, force enhance tap on our pink and use those materials to auto enhance it at a hundred percent target is plus 40 attempt at a hundred everything else is good auto enhance watch it fly and sure I could have just, oh, let me skip to the part where I have all three pieces of gear at plus seven and you're like, oh, pfft. That was a hack. No way. How did you do that? I'm showing you. This is, it's important you to see this journey of, hey, he suffered too. He had losses too. You know, it wasn't super easy for him, but there are sections of this that are 100% easy. You're going to get it. And there are some areas that are hard. So there it is, plus 40. So let's. Go ahead and use the blue uh, scroll there and attempt. So this time I think I, <laughs> I thought I was like, oh, I'll do that again. Come on, streamer luck. I'll easily get up to five on single clicks. Some people, yeah, it works that way. But I think the game says, mm, let's stop that. And there it is. <laughs> yeah, restore. Back to reality. <laughs> Meaning I should do the auto awakening, but I was lucky enough to get it to four. And then I think it kicked me down again. 
I'm like, uh, uh, let's let's do auto awakening. Let's just get this get this back up to uh, five where it needs to be. I don't think it's nope no. It takes a bit of time to realize what would be the better way to do it. So there it is, auto awakening. So for here, our target is five. So it's not, it's not seven. I need to go back and correct that. It is five. Don't be silly. Don't waste your materials on that. <laughs> and yes, you could, but it's not the smartest way to go. So this is how I set it up and let's go for it. Let's see, uh, two to three and then four, save on three, yep. Yeah, it should click over to five on this. Yep, there it is. So if, you, if it went too fast, just go back and pause it to see what the settings were that I chose to just kick it over to five and there you go so now i uh i went back to uh think that oh we're gonna <laughs> yeah it was just a brain fart <laughs> nope we need to come over here to gloves we need to go to chaos but i think we need to uh awaken it <laughs> so back to the camp See, even I make mistakes <laughs> all the time. Can't let you think that it's perfect all the time. So gear awakening. And oops, look at that. We forgot to awaken our chest gear. Let's do that as well, because it will be needed. 40 dimensional fragments are needed for that. So let's just go ahead and do that. Get it out of the way. So that is completed and ready. So now back to the gloves. So tap on that, awaken it. And there we go. 20 million silver is all that was needed for that. So we'll confirm. And now we're ready to go back to our craft. So <laughs> yes, I always try to be fighting while I'm crafting and doing other things. I don't want to be in the camp because you're not fighting when you're in the camp even though I think there's some sort of fighting that helps you, but no. So here we are, Chaos Gloves, register it, craft, done. All right, we're now at plus five. So now we need to do the, the part where you breathe and say, all right, I need it to be plus seven so I can make it severing chaos gear with the ock rod. So, but I need my plus five to get up to plus seven. So black spirit, awakened enhancement, click here, tap on plus five. And do you remember that pattern that we chose that worked really well for us? We're doing it again. You bet your you bet we are. <laughs> Auto awakening, target is plus seven. We're not gonna mess with that. We're messing with the green one and the blue one. That green one and that blue one. Setting it to one, plus one. Setting that to plus five. Leaving the resurrection scrolls at the bottom on plus three. And there it is. Don't mess with something that works. Auto awakening and confirm. So you're looking at the numbers. Where are they hovering on? Oh, look, we're going to two, three, four, five, six. Now we're in sixes. Sixes, come on, get back to six. We're at five, we're at five. Now we're back to six. Six, it should be kicking over to seven anytime now. This is good. Oh, went, went down but it can go back and it's going back. See, this is how you know that your setup is good. Now it's you versus RNG. <laughs> and yeah, it all could be RNG, but if you give yourself a, a fighting chance at a setup like this, 
it'll get there. And this is the reason why I tell people in my guild and friends, you know, save up, save up big time because you're going to need it. You can't expect to single click this all the time. Plus six, plus seven. There it is. Didn't take very long. Didn't take much materials, hopefully. But another gear, piece of gear is done. So go to camp. And this time, we're gonna awaken that piece. Gear awakening. Tap on it. 20 dimensional fragments, not 40 like last time for the other piece of gear. And so there it is, confirm. Now that piece of gear is ready to go. Now we're gonna work on the last piece, which is our boots. So we do this process all over again, one more time. I mean, why not? I figure doing it three times, you'd be like, oh, I got this, I know what he's doing. Red, our daily fragments, 194, craft, confirm. There we go. Let's convert it into a pink. So there it is. We need to tap on the red shoes. Tap to register, register it, craft it. There we go. And now this makes sense with the history of the armor and how you can get it in the process. Now you can see that process in action. So now we need Roman numeral five and we need to start upgrading it. We need to awaken it too. So we go to Black Spirit, Enhance, Force Enhance, Tab, Armor, Shoes, and you remember all that material? Let's use it to get it to plus 40. Tap on Target, enter your number, and auto enhance confirm so honestly now that my backup gear is just about done that material to get it up to plus 40 i really don't need it i can turn it into the uh pristine uh what was that pristine black crystal material which is needed for higher level upgrades so you could do that i don't think i show that in this video that i have done that but uh, you can bet that is my next step. All right, now we're at plus 40 and we need to go to the camp. And now we need to go to our blacksmith and gear awakening and exchange, gear awakening, tap on the shoes, tap on the gear and Awaken it, gear awakening. 20 million silver, confirm. Nice. So now we're ready to upgrade the plus 40 on our way to Roman numeral five. And here we go, back to craft. See, like I said, you should know this process by now. You've been with me to see it done twice and the third time not a problem. Oh, what happened here? Oh, <laughs> we got a little ahead of ourselves. It's uh, not Roman numeral five yet. There we go. Come on, Maggie. You can do this. There we go. Tap on it. We're not even in the right screen. See, I think I'm tired. <laughs> it is in. There we go. There it is. Okay. Awaken enhancement plus 40. Blue scroll is what we're working with. We can single click it. It's 100%. And whether you want to single click uh, Roman numeral 2 to 5 is your call. I think 90% is a safe bet. So confirm. Uh, 2 to 3, eh, 60%. Mm, why not? That, that worked out. Three to four, uh, 30%, well, who knows? I got lucky there. <laughs> I'll just call it out like it is, I got lucky. 
So we're gonna auto awaken. The target is five. We're going to uh, set this up again the same way we did. So we'll use both of them. So that is four to five. And then that one would be one to three. And then leave that alone. Yep, that looks good. Oh, no, three. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I left it on three. So there you go. And confirm. This one should go a lot easier, a lot quicker. It's at four. Bam, there it is at five. I think the game cuts you a break because it knows where you're going. <laughs> to more materials being uh, used and hopefully uh, luck is on your side. <laughs> so shoes, chaos shoes. Let's uh, tap on this area. Tap on it to register, register it. We have the materials, craft it. There we go. And congratulations, plus five chaos shoes. And now we're ready to make that trek to plus seven and awaken it so it can be ready for severing. And I can actually show you the two different paths or three different paths and the options, but you need everything to be at this point and you need backup gear. If you do this with your actual gear, I would say that uh, you're gonna be upset when it fails. It may not fail, but it will fail and you'll be upset. Backup gear is the smart way to go. So gear awakening, let's go ahead and tap on it. It's 20 dimensional fragments. So we'll hit confirm. There we go. Okay. And let's, uh, oops, let's go back to Black Spirit. Awaken Enhancement. We'll select the plus five. And you remember that setup that we had last time? Let's show it to you one more time. Auto Awakening, targets plus seven. So we're messing with the, the bottom, the middle green and the blue. We're setting that to five, setting this to one, plus one, to four, plus five, three, plus three. And let's do this again. Last time, auto awakening. Yep. There's our target. And confirm. So we already know that this uh, pattern and what we select is successful. It's just a matter of RNG and time. It won't be as much time as uh, if you were to do it any other way. If I was to have uh, incorporated that other green scroll, I would have probably melted a heck of a lot more material uh, with a lot of failure. And I feel that this setup is the best so you can see now it's uh, moving into the three four and five see it's saving itself on plus four so we're just gonna leave it i think i think i might have changed it or tweaked it thinking that it's spending yeah it's spending too much time in the plus three plus four range so Let's see if we can improve on that. We know it's plus seven, our target. So we did one to four and this was plus five. So maybe dropping that down to plus four and one to three might be a better way to go. Because you see it needed that help. It was three to four, 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 four. Let's give it a higher percentage of success. Confirm. So three at resur uh, resurrection scroll or uh, yeah, to help it out. So now we're watching it. Wow, <laughs> go, there it is, four to five, four to five. Hopefully it'll go back up and it'll go into six. 
and get away there we go we're back up to four come on back up to four isn't that something when the game is like no it's not that easy and yes I think it is it's uh, my materials and how much I've saved versus a pattern I believe in four five four five it's going to get up there I think because I seen the future and I already know the outcome <laughs> let's see it's hovering on plus three plus four plus four was a good way to go uh, the blue scroll because it did help it kick over to five but I'm wondering about the uh, low end if maybe it was a way to buff it I would have to make the blue scroll plus three two plus four two plus five if I wanted to maybe make this uh, stronger but I think I just leave this alone just takes a bit of time and I'm looking at the silver that I have my materials the pink pristine crystals and there it is there it is just took some time but it came around it's like there there's a good shot right there so now we have all of our gear as backup gear ready to go and we can move into the next part of this video that I wanted to talk to you about so without further ado let's do that and that is before you can use the umbral chaos gear and change it into severing we need to unlock the story so if you go into story tap on essential and do unveiling shadows it unlocks umbral chaos gear and i'm going to show you that the story i'm going to show you the whole story i'm going to shorten all the areas i can and provide tips where i can so without further ado let's get started here we go
So we're coming up to a part where it gives you an option of three answers you can choose from. And approach him menacingly, try to appease him or tell him you'll do him a favor. I just chose him, tell him you'll do him a favor because it's the most logical one to choose. Threatening him or appeasing to him, I don't know what happens. But it worked out. I encourage you to choose number three. And we go on.
Okay, so the quest is noisy alarm system. I want to give you some pro tips on this. You see that big building with the sphere at the top? That is the alarm you're trying to kill. And I want to show you the uh, level uh, CP. There are creatures there are. It's 23,500. See, so look at that 23,000, 22, 6, 119. So if you're in that range, this is great. But the goal is to destroy that building that you see falling every now and then that it pops up. So I did some calculations and I let this go where they placed me to destroy this one building 350 times. And I'm just going to tell you the time frame from one. <laughs> From 1.30 p.m. when I did this to 2 o'clock, so from 30 minutes duration, I, I destroyed 115 of these in 30 minutes time. But I'm going to show you where you should be. Uh, we're going to show you on the map. You're going to continue to the right, looking at this screen, to the right to get to this point, whereas from 2 o'clock to 225 so 25 minutes I destroyed 235 of them in that frame of time to complete this quest I do not want you staying here destroying one at a time because my character Archmage she just drifts away from it and if you set this and expect that it'll be done coming back an hour later wrong so let's go ahead and get to the point in the video where I take a horse and show you where I'm going and where I'm gonna stay because there are two of them you can destroy here we go actually I think I didn't take a horse I think I just ran the map to find a good spot so you'll see the camera will turn and then I will just sit there and go, there's got to be a better way to do this. There we go. And let's just start running. So I'm kind of paying attention to this terrain. You can follow along and see what path I'm going. See, there's one here. And I'm like, well, maybe that one. But no, there's there's got to be a better spot. You know, I don't see any others around here, so let's continue straight ahead and keep going. So we're moving. You can follow along on the map. There's one here. I thought maybe this is a good spot. But again, I'm looking around. No, it's just one. <laughs> don't. There's got to be. There's got to be a spot. So I'm looking around, I'm looking around. So there's one here. So I was thinking maybe I could just run around and kill each one that's one. And then I turned and look, there's two right here in this nice little alcove. Look on the map, I expand it. You see where I'm at? This is where I finish off to 350 kills. And honestly, once I knew I was in a good spot right here, I walked away. I went and I made a sandwich, uh, probably checked on a few things, and uh, just let it do its thing. So if you're able to destroy these guys and not have to worry about your health, do the same. You know, and then come back and it'll be done. But I'm not going to have you sit here and watch. All 350, we're going to fast forward it to where it is completed. Let's do that. Here we go. And just like that, the quest is now done. So we can allow you to continue with the storyline. Here we go.
So now he wants us to defeat uh, 30,000 creatures in West Valencia or after, uh, excluding the uh, Great Desert. So what we're going to do is uh, just take a look at uh, the map, the world map, and see what we're talking about. This is a, kind of a your choice thing. So West Valencia is here. Now you know that you need to be 23 uh, K CP to fight in Pilaku prison. So I know that you're 23. So West Valencia would be terribly easy. You can do, you know, this, this part right here. So you can do North Valencia if you want, or East Valencia. Mm, I think I settled on East Valencia because I kind of want to do creatures that are near or as close to my level as possible. I know it's a little tough. Uh, in South Valencia, not really. I'm like 40, what did I say, 40, 48k CP. And I think East Valencia is going to be where I personally would put Archmage. So we'll put her in the Lava Devourer to fight these people. And, uh, I mean, it's your choice where you want to go. You can put your character in the super easy uh, spot to knock out 30,000 of these guys. So I'm not encouraging you to do what I'm doing. I'm saying it's your call on where you want to go. So I'm going to just go ahead and get set up. And then we will fast forward to where... 30,000 has been accomplished and I got to tell you it took a while because of my kill rate and the l number of uh, creatures and their level if I went lower it might have gone much faster but I don't know I just I just didn't want to do it so I'm just trying to find a good spot. I think this circled area would be a good area. And find a big hunt, big group of them, like right here. This looks like my spot. And just there and start. So without further ado, let's go ahead and fast forward to where it is just about done or done. I will see you there. Here we go. So if I ever wanted to know how long it takes Archmage to kill off 30,000 creatures, the answer is 1 hour and 30 minutes. So there it is. The quest is now done and we can tap on it and move on with the storyline. Here we go. So I want to take this time to tell you that this mission that you're on to find this document is a we're giving you a clue you need to search around to find where it might be. So I'm going to do some uh, editing where I just cut right to where it is. So here's your clue find a hidden letter in Barhan's Villa in Valencia City. Barhan's Villa is in front of Shah Zod's palace. So I looked around everywhere and I finally found it. So let's just cut to where it is. Here we go.
and congratulations. The Black Spirit definitely said it. You now have completed the story. You got 10 CP for doing it and all that material. So there it is. Unveiling Shadows is now complete. Congratulations once again. Uh, kind of seemed like a lot. So with that, let's go ahead and move on to what we will do now that all paths are open and we have options on how to proceed. So let's show you what our options are. Here we go. So what you're looking at is the two options that you have when wanting to get your chaos gear from plus seven to plus eight. And option one is to go through uh, the normal way of awakening and getting it all the way there. And option two below is the process of severing gear, which is a lot safer and a lot easier way to go to get up to plus eight. So let's go ahead and uh, zoom in on all this so I can explain what the details are. And here we go. So let's go ahead and zoom in on option one. Now, uh, this is the part that has been uh, a controversy. And honestly, now that I've done it, I can say that I'm going with option two. But option one is awakened enhancement. Uh, you have your plus seven. The rate is 3% if you do nothing, and you need Akram Prophecy to get it to 6%. Option two is you're taking your plus seven, you're going to this location for Severing Chaos staff, for example, and once you have it, which we will show you how to get up to plus seven, then you uh, use the Ocarid, and this is the material you need to craft uh, your Severing Chaos gear and get it to plus five. So it's basically giving you all these options. You'll need Restoration Scrolls, and you'll need Pristine Black Crystal. And I will cover how much of all that you need, so hang in there. And down here, let me read this to you. What this all means is that you'll be using all of the advice of Valks and Occam Prophecy scrolls you have to create this material. As you can see, you need two of this material to make one attempt, but the game gives you a lot of options on how to make it. So if you only have the advice of Valks 10%, then no problem. Turn it into material and try for an upgrade. Your rate is at 6% is locked and it does not change and you cannot lose progress if you fail. So save it up just like you do in a uh, season character and go for it. So as you can see, this is the proof that uh, it, the rate is 6% and it will take 50 million silver to make an attempt. This right here is uh, when your gear's at plus four, you chose there's no cost of restoration, no enhancement level to restore. So just go for it. And plus five, you're done. Everything is done. So 1526 is what you start out with and 1625 CP is what you end with. So you are getting, what is that? 101 CP for that one item, mind you. And then once you're done with your plus five, you hand it into the craft section and it turns into a plus eight chaos weapon. Congratulations, not a problem. But the only thing that's a challenge here in all this is getting all the materials you need. So the next step is to take all of our plus seven gear and turn it into plus five severing gear so we can then turn it into plus eight chaos gear i'm gonna show you the journey of what it took for all the pieces so that you know and uh, kind of condense it down so it's not convoluted and then i will show you at the end how much materials was needed so you can see that and go ah right i will plan for that so let's get started here we go and first things first we need to take our plus seven gear and turn it into severing 
chaos gear so we already did the uh, staff so we're gonna go back and do the sub weapon and show you what that's like so tap on that tap on that register it and we need Akrod, just one and craft so we'll go ahead and uh, do that and here we go yep sorry I was a little nervous I was like oh man all of this is new just making my way I got a lot of help so I had some confidence there but still a little nerve-wracking helmet so now that we know how it works helmet yeah let's just do it <laughs> no fear nice graphics though so there's that move over to the armor and this is all the backup gear that I'm uh, working on so hmm I will address that when we get to the uh, towards the end of this video about backup gear in this scenario so we get the gloves and go ahead and craft that so what we're doing is we're preparing all of our gear changing it into severing gear so then I can go through the process of upgrading it to plus five and going from there so you already saw the hardship of getting it up to plus seven so now you're seeing it's an easy changeover to making it a different type of gear which is the severing so now that we're all set with the shoes and everything else let's move on to the next step and that is to go back and show you how I upgraded my uh, main weapon to plus five severing and uh, all the materials and how to get all the materials so here we go so first things first uh, we'll go to craft and we need to get material so we can do this upgrade so umbral chaos gear craft material we're gonna start with our advice of Valks 10% because we have like 14,000 of it and we have 3,000 of that, 11,000, 13,000 of that, and 1,000 of that. So all of that to combine will help us, but we're going to start using this. And we have that much Restoration Scrolls and that much Pristine Black Crystal. So we're just going to, you know, try this out. I don't know how much I need, so we'll do 100, and we'll go back. Uh... We still have uh, plenty. I think uh, now that I have seen this process, the Restoration Scrolls was uh, the uh, point of concern. Like, do you have enough of that? So we go to Black Spirit, Awakened Enhancement, and I'm just gonna tap on my Chaos Staff, my Severing Chaos Staff, and tap now we already had some and it totals out to 200 and don't worry about the numbers i will show you all that at the end but we're just going to do auto awake select it all and by the way i don't know if you notice this but you see the little bubbles next to it how it's one five four three two all that you can select the order in which it uses this material so if you are really strapped and you just want certain material used you can select it so it does it in a certain order so that's nice so we want to use it all we'll put this all the way up to plus five and let's go ahead and tap on auto awakening and once again you cannot lose progress so if you get plus one you keep plus one and it's just a matter of like the season uh, character it's just a matter of how much you can throw at it so you really want to save as much as you possibly can and just do this and that's what I've done I mean <laughs> why not <laughs> so auto awaken let's start this here we go and uh, one other thing is that I want you to pay attention to what it does it's like look at all the fails and look at how long it'll take until I got a success I am certainly not one-shotting this and I can actually show you statistics of the average of how much it takes at the end I will bring that information out so you can see it as well 
but we got our plus five. So let's move on to the next piece, which is our offhand. And I realized I should have called it a sub weapon <laughs> instead of an offhand. So there we go. Severing Chaos Dagger. We're going to auto awaken. And we have uh, enough materials there. At least I hope we do. This is the second uh, piece that I'm doing. So we'll see if, uh, if it makes it. And what you're paying attention to is how wonderful all the fails are and all the silver that's leaving us and all that material being used. <laughs> if you've ever done season character, you will be very familiar with this process right here, which is will it ever change? Yes, yes, I do believe it will. <laughs> Just give it, give it some time and you always want to approach things in bulk. And that's what we're doing here, except, ooh, I ran out. Yikes, we need to fix that. So, <laughs> and yay for plus four. Yep, see, all out, darn. All right, so we want to go back to the uh, craft and Umbral Chaos gear and craft material, and this time, We'll use uh, all of our 10% of the advice of Valks. So 183, that ought to do it. Thank goodness, it just, bam, there it is, that big lump. It doesn't actually take you through. One, two, three, 183 later. <laughs> so let's go ahead and go back to uh, the Black Spirit. And there's that, Black Spirit. And then we'll just uh, head back into the uh, Awaken Enchantment, Enhancement, excuse me, Enhancement, and Auto Awakening 2 plus 5. So here we go, Auto Awakening and Tap. Let's see how quickly it goes. <laughs> and we're still waiting. <laughs> hey, hey, all right, plus 5. So now I'm starting to get an idea after two pieces and we're just gonna roll into the next piece which is the uh, helm I believe but we do need more materials uh, let's go back to craft material and now we're out of the 10% so we're gonna do the next one down which is 10% again and just max it out 68 that's fine so we'll confirm it so we have more okay and we're still good on restoration scrolls and pristine black crystals, so we'll keep going. And once again, we'll come over here to Black Spirit, Awaken en Enhancement, tap on the helm or the helmet, and let's do this. We have uh, over 200 material, which is enough. So let's go ahead and uh, tap on Auto Awakening and see how how long it takes before we get to plus five. Oh, we gotta change that target to plus five. <laughs> that might be helpful. There we go. All right. Now, if you're trying to keep score of how long it's taking, do not worry. I'm gonna total this up and break it down for you when it's all done, how much material you need, and how many attempts it took to get each piece so I did all the math for you but uh, in the meantime you can see the heartache of all those fails <laughs> come on plus five I'm looking at the uh, bottom left oh hey there we go all right so that's the helm let's move on to the chest piece here we go and just like the others we'll just Go to craft, Umbro Chaos gear. Crap, well, I guess I needed more material. <laughs> That's right, we keep uh, burning up material. So I think we'll choose the next one down, which is Advice of Vox 50%. We'll auto craft it. I think this is enough. 546. Yeah, I, I think so. Hopefully, we really don't know. But 
here we go all right the big material drop and there it is restoration scrolls are out so if this isn't enough well this video is gonna be short <laughs> er <laughs> all right so let's go ahead and continue we are on the chest piece and there we go select we got plenty of material auto awaken plus five you know the drill here we go all right chess piece let's uh have you get up to plus five a lot sooner than your other pieces shall we do that let's try who knows and yes you could say oh that's just rng good luck to you but mm, once uh, this is done and I show you how many attempts it took for each piece, you'll see a pattern. You'll see, oh, I can clearly see how much it took for each one. And uh, it really doesn't seem like RNG anymore. It just seems like planning. <laughs> so there's plus three, plus four. Come on. Yeah, plus five. All right. So that is done. Let's move on to our next piece, the gloves. Heck, watching this, you should be an expert at this by now. So, Awaken Enhancement, tap on our gloves, and we have enough material. Oops, not that one. It's There's only one there instead of two. So let's tap on the big material there, the 524. And tap on Auto Awakening. And here we go, up to five, auto awakening, and let's let it go. <laughs> I know, you may be thinking, ah, this is like watching paint dry. No, I want to show you that the journey, it takes a while to get this, and I'm proving to you all the materials that it takes I'm not just gonna be like oh look I now have it I now have it I now have it you'd be like yeah but my journey wasn't like your journey <laughs> and there it is plus five so let's move on to the last piece which is the shoes here we go and now we begin so awaken enhancement tap on the shoes or the boots uh, they're called shoes so there we go big the big amount auto awakening and up to target five and here we go so after this we're going to uh, get all the gear up to uh, plus eight chaos gear so plus five severing gear is the requirements to change them all into plus eight chaos gear and uh, once that's done, I will show you all the stuff that it took to get to this point. So with that, let's get started. Here we go. And welcome. This is the moment that you feel like a kid at Christmas. Umbral Chaos Gear, uh, Chaos Staff Plus 8, Yes Please, Tap, and we're going to tap on it and register. And once we're done with that, the moment at hand craft yes confirm and congratulations if you're following along and doing the very same thing there it is crystal slot 5 for main weapon has been unlocked so you know the CP is gonna be a lot higher than when you started with so we're gonna go ahead and keep doing it for all the other pieces of gear and while we do this, I do want to take a moment to address an issue, and that is I have told you the importance of having backup gear. So if you are going through option one, which is none of this severing stuff, and you're just going to stick to your guns and do the upgrade, backup gear is the way you will go. Because if you don't, you're going to rage quit. We're never going to see you again, and there was a better way. So, eh, everyone gets to choose. However, as you have seen, doing the uh, this method of severing gear and getting you up to plus eight, it really was, there was no risk. 
there was just how much material do you have and you don't lose progress so you could use your actual set of gear that your main character uses and uh, I see now that I could have done that but it's fine this is the adventure the journey of figuring out was backup gear needed and uh, for severing it was not but I will give another uh, person uh, my old gear like in my family members I'll just choose someone or maybe split it all up so that uh, all the family members in my path of glory group has more CP so there it is plus eight plus eight now let's show you all the materials it took to get there here we go and now the moment you are waiting for and that is what were the stats how did how much material did it take to get the end result so while we uh, place it under Archmage and just uh, trim it a little and put it in a good position there we go let's read it the main weapon took 63 attempts for the exquisite black crystal the sub weapon took 77 the helm took 59 the chest piece was 63 the gloves 92 and the boots 58 and all the way down it is a total of 412 attempts and 824 exquisite black crystal so you needed uh, looking down there at the bottom for materials needed 824 exquisite black crystal or more 941,850 restoration scrolls or more 26,910 pristine black crystal or more and 15 billion silver 15 billion 550 million silver to be exact so this is what it took to get there and now after this I would like to go in and show you what is next what do you do with all of this gear if you don't know so I'm gonna go into that and then we'll do our outro here we go but first I'd like to show you what do we do with this exquisite black crystal we already have what we need and we really don't need that until we're ready to do another set we go to umbral chaos gear disassembly now and the game knows what materials you use like the one here nothing there 374 there so you can't cheat the system and get material back that you really didn't use so we're gonna tap on that and disassemble so we'll get all of this back and it is because of the restoration scrolls I am doing this I need that back <laughs> those are not easy to get and I'm not gonna have it sit in exquisite black crystal especially uh, that much right there no <laughs> I don't think so so confirm and we have our materials back so now we can go into what do we do with all the gear now that we have everything all set let's show you here we go so the first thing you can do is go to black spirit and equip and fuse crystal you can put crystals in to that gear it could be the crystals that you have on the side or you'll need to make new crystals so it depends and uh, you can also select it see here the memory imprint you could put memory imprints into it to increase its CP and you can also enchant them enchant your gear and uh, raise it even more so if we tap on that you could see that it goes up to plus 100 I believe so you can work on that it's 1 million silver and 100,000 magical residue that is needed so you can also work on that now I don't expect you to do all of this for all of your gear in one sitting unless you have been planning for it so this is what you can do to increase your CP now that you have a nice set of plus eight and with that, let us go to our outro. And on behalf of Archmage and myself, Magi, I'd like to say thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you like the videos on this channel, please 
like, subscribe, let people know I am always making more videos and there are always more videos left to do. So once again, thank you very much and you have a great day. Good luck and I hope you have plus eight gear as well. Take care. Bye now.